Well, with less than a month until midterm elections, campaigning to win San Diego's 50th district congressional seat is fierce. Team 10's investigative reporter Jennifer Kastner has been fact-checking a campaign ad released by Republican incumbent Dem Duncan Hunter and Democratic challenger Amar Kampanajar. And we've seen the ad by Duncan Hunter. Some are calling it racist, but Kampanajar is firing back now with his own ad now. Well, this is a new ad. It just came out, and it was actually just released after I did a sit-down interview with Kampanajar yesterday morning. It doesn't stray much from the previous ads he's released, which focus largely on Duncan Hunter's 60 count federal indictment. Attention voters. This is the new ad just released by San Diego congressional hopeful Amar Kampanajar, 27 days before the midterm election. Amar will be an independent voice for us. Just yesterday, we interviewed the Democratic challenger before the new ad started playing on TVs. Can you tell us about the content of it? It's pretty much the same, just telling the facts as they lay bare. Do you plan to defend the accusations brought against you from Hunter's most recent ad? The good news is that all of you are doing the defending because it's not factual. Not factual, un-American and racist, says Campanajar about incumbent Republican Representative Duncan Hunter's most recent attack ad that came out almost two weeks ago. Amar Campanajar is working to infiltrate Congress. The explosive video garnered a firestorm of attention, centering much around the Latino Arab Americans' family ties to terrorism. It is a fact that his grandfather was involved in the Munich Olympic massacre, but he's renounced his grandfather, who died years before he was born. The ad implies he's a security risk, but Kampanajar passed multiple clearances as a former official in the Obama administration. You know, we've raised money off of this ad. An ad that he says has backfired on opponent Hunter, fueling contributions to Kampanajar from voters who he says are disgusted. The Federal Election Commission shows more than a million dollars have rolled in for Kampanajar, ahead of Hunter's nearly $900,000. But those numbers are old from June. New numbers are coming shortly with a reporting deadline of next Monday. Well, what should we expect in the next week or two in the next You'll report? see the report. We'll see the report. Can you give us a rough estimate? More than a million, a lot more than a million. But so. it's already more than a million. What do well, we think? I think this report will show probably another million at least. Camp in a Jar's new ad focuses largely on the Hunter's federal indictment for allegedly misusing campaign money and that he blamed his wife. It is a fact that Hunter went on national TV saying this about wife Margaret. And she was also the, the, camp, the campaign manager. So what, whatever she did on that, that'll be uh, that'll be looked at, too, I'm sure. But uh, but I didn't do it. The new ad also claims the San Diego Union Tribune calls Hunter's corruption pathetic and his false attacks on Amar Kampanajar despicable. It is a fact that the UT's opinion-based editorial board wrote that, but that's not to be confused with the reporting side of the paper. So which candidate is in the lead? According to poll aggregate website Project 538, in the six polls conducted since the June primary, Duncan Hunter is still up by more than eight points, but the gap is tightening. Now, 10 News called and emailed Duncan Hunter's campaign for an interview about the most recent ads. We have not gotten a response. Jennifer Kastner, 10 News. Jennifer, thank you.